Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today it is that time of year again. We are doing my 2021 roundup. These are my 10 best purchases of the year of 2021 and some of these are ones that I just absolutely love. Some of them are unicorn type of purchases or perfumes that are hard to find that are amazing. So if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and here we talk mostly about perfume. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely head on down and hit the subscribe button. Feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram as well if you like minimalism, home decor, perfume content, outfits of the day, scents of the day, and things like that. And also before we get started, let me know down below what was your best perfume purchase of this year if you bought perfume. And if it was something else, like a pair of shoes or a handbag, let me know down below as well. I always love to hear what people's favorite purchases are or the things that they're using right now that they're loving the most. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. Okay, so let's start off our list with with a very repetitive one you guys I just have to get out of the way because this is probably one of my most talked about perfumes of the year of 2021 so like I said in my intro this might be a little bit repetitive there's a few on this list that I have talked about many many times before but I guess that means that I'm being very honest because they're obviously some of my favorite perfumes if I've talked about them hundreds of times. So this is Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge. Now this one I believe I picked up, it could have actually been toward the end of 2020. This is one of the best purchases in my whole collection. I love it so much. This is, oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, so good. This is a vanilla cardamom and iris fragrance. It has a lot of vanilla in here. It's a little bit powdery. It's a little bit soft spicy and it has a touch of a woody component to it. It is not a masculine perfume. People always ask us if this is masculine because of that cardamom. It really isn't. If you're looking at something like Gris Charnel to compare it to, Gris Charnel is much more masculine in my opinion and this is very, very feminine. I would not want to smell this on my boyfriend. I think this is definitely a feminine powerhouse perfume. Perform performance is pretty good and it just makes me feel very luxurious and very bougie. It's kind of like a super luxurious cardamom lipstick, if you can imagine that, with a hefty dose of vanilla. It's beautiful, it's kind of cold, it's very sexy, and this was my vacation perfume when everything opened up and we were finally able to leave the border, or cross the border rather, and go on a vacation. This was my vacation scent and it just was perfect. It just made me feel super luxurious and it's just such a oh, it's such a beautiful perfume, you guys. You just have to try it one day. So this is Christian Louboutin Louis Rouge in our first spot. By the way, this is in no order. This is not the best or the worst. This is just our first one. So in our second spot here, and again, this is in no order. This is not going from best to worst or worst to best. In second spot, we have Guerlain Mon Exclusive, and this is a discontinued perfume. It comes in this really beautiful little bow-shaped bottle, and this is one of my best purchases for two reasons. Number one, I absolutely love it. Um, it is very, very similar to Mon Guerlain from Guerlain, if you've ever smelled that one. The only difference between this one and Mon Guerlain is this one is richer. It has more of a niche feel to it I would say like it doesn't smell so much like a designer perfume it it smells a little bit better quality and more special than Mongerlan. and this one also has added notes of butter toffee or, or is it just butter and toffee I think it's butter and toffee that they've added in here so this is a little bit richer and deeper and denser and like thicker smelling than the original Mongerlan. it's maybe a touch lighter on the lavender this has amazing amazing lasting power so even though this is discontinued you guys if you keep your eyes peeled on discount websites such as fragrance buy this video is not sponsored but that's where I found this one if you keep your eyes peeled you can sometimes find these discontinued gems they will pop up and if you put yourself on an email notification list you can sometimes score um, a unicorn and that's what I did. I put my name on an email notification and the moment I got the email, I purchased it and I'm so grateful. This basically just smells like a richer, better, deeper version of Mongerlan. It is smooth and buttery and creamy and vanillic and feminine and sensual and soft and all of that good stuff and I love it. And I'm kind of babying this bottle, trying not to use it too much because once it's gone, I really think it's gonna be hard for me to find another bottle of this just because 
I almost never see this pop up. It's a real shame that they have discontinued it. So this was definitely one of my best purchases of the year, even though I'm probably not gonna wear it a lot because I don't wanna run out. So my third best purchase of 2021 is Contre Moi from Louis Vuitton. And this is a kind of a complex, unique, rich, dense, um, herbal vanilla perfume. And the reason I absolutely love this perfume or the reason I think it's one of my best purchases is because again, number one, I love this smell. Um, but number two, it's also, it kind of represents the vacation that I took. I did smell this for the first time when I was on vacation with my partner. I have very distinct memories of going into the store and smelling all of the Louis Vuitton fragrances all together for the first time and um, falling in love with this one. And I do remember spraying it on my arm and sitting there and having a cappuccino after and this just kept wafting off of my arm. Um, and it's just a beautiful fragrance. So first of all, I'm a huge fan of Louis Vuitton. Love the bottle. It does have a really nice magnetic cap, very heavy duty, weighted magnetic cap. Oh, I want to smell it. Yeah, this is just a really bougie, unique, luxurious vanilla. This has herbal notes in it. It has ambrette. It's a little bit powdery. Um, it almost has a little bit of a suede-like nature, not in an animalic way. It doesn't smell like leather. It just has like a, a suede kind of a touch to it for some reason. I think I just associate it with Louis Vuitton handbags and maybe that's why I'm thinking like leather suede. Um, and then there's also chocolate in here or cacao and there's three types of vanilla. So this is definitely a vanilla perfume, but it's a little bit richer and more luxurious and more interesting and on my skin this dries down to heaven it's just beautiful my boyfriend loves it he thinks it's an incredible perfume like when i showed it to him he said now that is a perfume that's what he said so and he doesn't usually compliment these kind of perfumes he's pretty simple he likes his you know britney spears fantasy type of perfumes on me so anyways Contra Moi, amazing purchase for this year. Absolutely love it. And it reminds me of my vacation. My next best purchase of 2021 was Gabriel Essence from Chanel. So the reason this is an amazing purchase is because I was formerly sort of obsessed with the Chanel Chance fragrances, the EDP, the EDT, um, the Eau I really liked those ones. And this one took me a while to get on board with, but you guys, this is one of my favorite Chanel perfumes and it is so good for the summertime. As you can see, I put a pretty good dent in it during this past summer considering I have so many perfumes and this is a citrusy floral fragrance it's a little bit musky there's a lot of white florals but there's also ylang ylang in here so it's just a very like pretty upbeat happy summertime floral fragrance there's also a lot of citruses and a little bit of fruitiness in the opening I'll give you a close-up of the bottle really nice bottle if I had to call my collection down to like 10 or 15 or 20 bottles, this would have to be in it, I think, because it's just such a summer staple for me. It smells very luxurious and very sophisticated, very classy, but at the same time, it's very fun, bubbly, uplifting, fruity. Um, it's like the perfect mixture between mature and young. This is your perfect summertime perfume for somebody who wants to smell classy and luxurious, but doesn't want to smell aged or dated or anything like that. Let me just take the lid off here. Yeah, it's just incredible, you guys. So beautiful, such a good summertime perfume. And if I could compare it to something else, it kind of reminds me of Chanel Beige. I don't know if you've ever smelled that one. That one is a Hawthorne honey, I think freesia, I think frangia penny. It's a happy yellow floral fragrance. And this reminds me a lot of Chanel Beige, but it's got a little bit more notes in it and it smells a little bit more young and up to date. It smells more like modern, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> up to date, it smells more modern and it's just beautiful, you guys, just beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this again when it warms up. If you're wearing a beautiful summer dress and some lovely slingback shoes and a really nice handbag and it's a beautiful sunny summer day, this is your perfume. So this is Chanel Gabriel Essence and I really want a big bottle. <laughs> So my next best purchase of 2021 is Armani Code Satin. So this one might be a little bit surprising because out of all the perfumes I purchased this year, I have purchased more like better quality perfumes. I bought Delina, I bought another Louis Vuitton perfume. Like there's other perfumes that could have definitely been on this list, but I love this perfume, you guys. I'm obsessed with it. This is this has become one of my favorite new date night perfumes. If I'm spending an evening with my boyfriend and I don't know what to put on and I want something that's going to make me smell feminine and very sexy, 
this is the one that I like to reach for. This is a deep, dark, sultry, slightly spicy vanilla perfume. It has notes of ginger, sorbet, and pear in the opening. In the middle, you have that super seductive and sweet orange blossom. There's a little bit of neroli, um, there's jasmine, and then in the base, there's vanilla, cacao, praline, and a little bit of patchouli. So this is a sweet vanilla gourmand white floral, essentially, but there's just something about this <laughs> that it's just so good and it's very, very unique. No other perfume smells quite like this one. It's pretty different to the original Armani Code. It's a little bit deeper and richer and it's a real shame that they discontinued this because I love it. <laughs> also, I'm kind of tempted to get the Armani Code Cashmere. I do prefer that one and this one to the original Armani Code. Hands down for me, they are way better. I don't know why they discontinued them, um, but if you guys can get your hands on a bottle, I highly suggest it. It is to die for. You cannot go wrong with it. Very sexy and just super enjoyable. Very sweet, very fun, great for date nights, great for clubbing, going out, that kind of thing if you're looking for that kind of perfume. And I actually have two backups of this. I was lucky enough to find a partial backup and a full backup. So I'm really, really happy about that. But without a doubt, this has become one of my best, one of my favorite new purchases. So that is Armani Code Satin. My next favorite purchase of 2021 is a Love Don't Be Shy Extreme by Killian. So I used to have the original Love Don't Be Shy and there's nothing wrong with that fragrance, you guys. It's a very sweet, bubblegummy, caramelly, sugary, orange blossom neroli fragrance. It kind of smells a little too bubblegummy for me though, the original one, and for that reason I didn't love wearing it. It wasn't a absolute love for me even though it was beautiful. This one for me is the perfect combination or the perfect formulation of love by Killian. This one is a little bit less bubblegummy sweet. It's not so potentially cloyingly sweet. This one has a little bit more rose and this one also has a lot of marshmallow. So this one for me basically smells like sweet roses on a bed of marshmallow. Really beautiful. I love the Killian bottles. I mean, there's nothing to say, nothing bad to say about the Killian bottles. Very expensive. This is a 50 mil and it was $350. So it is a little bit pricey but the detail is really beautiful um, and it's a great fragrance and it has pretty good performance. I think this one isn't super monster, but it's definitely a good performing perfume. This one will last me all day and I don't feel like I have to spray very much of it. So I have no complaints with this one. And it's just gorgeous, you guys. It is just feminine, beautiful, pretty, sweet, flirty, fun. It's powdery marshmallow and roses. If you like, what is that one, Princess by Killian? I think you would probably like this one because both of them, I believe, are marshmallow scents. This one is very similar to Princess, but this one's more about the rose, where Princess is a little bit more of a tea fragrance and it's a little bit deeper and maybe younger smelling. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely amazing. This is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme by Killian. And as you can see, I have hardly put a dent in it. I think because I've gotten so many perfumes since I bought this one in the summer. And I also don't want to burn through a bottle that cost $350, but definitely one of my favorite perfumes in my entire collection. And I kind of covet it. It's just beautiful. Okay guys, so the next one in our lineup here is Armani C Intense. And this really surprises me that this makes it onto my best purchases list because when this first came out, I didn't really like it, this particular um, intense flanker. And I also didn't, I mean, I liked the original C, but if you guys watch my channel, you know that I liked Armani C when it first came out, back when it was very strong and very rich and vanillic and super seductive and just like overwhelmingly, it was just such a good perfume, you guys. They they have, I think, reformulated the original C a couple of times, and the original C Eau de Parfum is now kind of a shadow of what it used to be. However, C Intense, you guys, there is something about this perfume that I just am so addicted to. This is a black currant floral benzoin patchouli fragrance. So this has black currant syrup. It has like this syrupy, like ambery smelling, sort of a green bitter quality to it that for some reason I'm just really addicted to. I don't know what it is. I literally up until about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I didn't like the smell of black currant and something happened and all of a sudden, all of a sudden I can't get enough black currant. So yeah, you guys, I don't know what it is about this perfume. There's just something in here that's driving me crazy and I just love it. And the dry down of this is heaven. The dry down of this is like sort of a vanillic benzoin, resinous, sweet patchouli, and it retains that sea scent. It still has that like sea signature scent, but it becomes this like creamy benzoin. And I just, I just love it, you guys. I mean, I could wear this 
all day and all night. I am hoping that it becomes a little richer with time because it is a benzoin perfume. I'm hoping it behaves like a vanilla perfume and that over the next few months it'll actually become even richer and thicker smelling. I'm really hoping and praying for that but I love it you guys. I'm totally addicted to this scent. This is a great perfume for date nights. It's very sophisticated. It's very feminine. It's a little bit mature. It's that classy, beautiful, perfect womanly smell. You could wear this to the office. You could wear it for a date. It could be a signature scent. It's just a great perfume. So, okay. So we are closing in on my last three best purchases of 2021 and arguably they are probably some of the higher up ones on this list. So this is M. Mikalef Note Vini. Now this one was kindly gifted to me from Mikalef and this video isn't sponsored or anything, but this perfume definitely did make it onto my top 10 for this year pretty quickly. So this is a vanilla perfume obviously and I wasn't really sure if I needed this in my collection, you guys. I used to have a sample and when I first smelled the sample, I didn't know if I was wowed by it, but after I actually got this gifted to me and tried it on my skin and gave it a proper wear, I fell completely in love with this. It is so amazing on the skin, you guys. If you ever get the chance to smell this, please put it on your skin. Don't just put it on paper. It is 10 times better on your skin. So this is a vanilla perfume that I think is quite unique, although it does have some characteristics of other perfumes. I always tell you guys that this perfume smells about 70% to me like Jessica Simpson Fancy, which is a caramel, gourmand, fruity perfume. This is about 20% Kali vanilla, which is like a brown sugar sugary vanilla orchid. This does have a little bit of a brown sugary warm vanilla component and to me it's about 10% Killian Angel Share because it does have a little bit of a boozy quality and a little bit of a woody quality. So this has notes of mandarin, orange, and citruses in the opening. In the middle you have floral notes that are not specified and jasmine and in the base you have vanilla, rum, cognac, amber, and sandalwood. And let me just take the lid off here the cap. I always call it a lid, you guys. Um, so the bottle is obviously extremely exquisite, beautiful craftsmanship. I just love, I love how this bottle looks. I heard they were actually coming up with a new bottle design for this one. I'm kind of sad about that because I think this is the perfect design for this bottle. It's a little bit sparkling. It's kind of luxurious and kind of bougie smelling, but it's also very warm and very golden smelling. And this looks like autumn to me, like this bottle looks like autumn to me and this is the perfect perfume to wear in the autumn and the winter. And this is just such an addictive, beautiful vanilla scent, you guys. So there is just a tiny touch of this booziness in here. I don't love a strong boozy scent in my perfumes. If a perfume smells too much like alcohol or cognac or rum, I really don't like it, but it is perfectly balanced in here. So even if you don't like a boozy perfume, you'll like it. And if you do like a boozy perfume, you'll like it. It's also very warm and a little brown sugary. And it, on the skin, it just, it's just incredible, you guys. I mean, smelling it at the atomizer doesn't do it justice. This lasts for a really long time. It has a very good performance. It projects. On clothing, it lasts forever. It's warm, it's cozy, sweet, brown, sugary, a little bit caramelly, a little boozy, a little bit of sandalwood, lots of vanilla, and it's also kind of complex. In the opening, you get this like citrusy burst, and then you get these, these like floral components, these kind of creamy, floral nuances and then it settles into this brown sugary sandalwoody boozy vanilla it is just gorgeous 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 if you like kaoli vanilla this is a good one to check out if you like spiritus double vanille this is a good one to check out and if you like uh, jessica simpson fancy and you want the much much fancier version of that definitely check this one out it is like super, super elevated, very luxurious and very beautiful. And I cannot say enough good things about this one. So note Vini from M. Mikalef. And the second last one on my list is Spiritus Double Vini from Guerlain. So this again is one of my best purchases of this year, hands down, but probably one of my best purchases ever, 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 ever. If I had to call my collection down to five or 10 perfumes for life. This I think would have to be on it. This is one of the, the, no, this is the best vanilla perfume I have in my collection. And I think that's a pretty universal consensus. I don't know a single person who doesn't like this. And most everybody who has smelled this will tell you the same thing, that it is one of the best perfumes in the world. And it's probably the best vanilla in the world. Um, it is pricey, but it's worth every penny if you ever want to splurge. And in my opinion, sometimes it's better to 
save your money and put it toward one amazing perfume versus buying you know three or four other perfumes that are cheaper but not as good so this is a sparkling sweet cozy slightly boozy vanilla fragrance this has notes of incense pink pepper and bergamot in the opening let me just take the cap off here because I did recently spray it in there I'm still getting that fresh beautiful incensey opening oh this is so good you guys incredible it is incredible there's also cedar ylang ylang bulgarian rose and jasmine and in the base there's vanilla and benzoin this okay to compare it to something that's a little more affordable but smells quite similar or has a similar vibe, check out Nuit et Confidence from Monique Goutel. Nuit et Confidence from Monique Goutel costs less than half of what this does and it smells very, very similar to this. It's not quite as complex and it is stronger in the incense. It's a little more simple, but the type of vanilla that's in Nuit et Confidence is very similar to the type of vanilla that you're gonna get in here. And if you want this at a more affordable price and just as beautiful of a bottle definitely get it you guys it's amazing you can get it from twisted lily i do have a discount for you a discount code for you in the description box if you want to check out nuia confidants but this one is definitely the more complex bougie just just it just wins <laughs> the sister just wins <laughs> um yeah and performance on this you guys is amazing this lasts forever on my clothing and it lasts for quite a quite a long time on my skin it's just amazing it's just amazing it's addictive it's beautiful it's sweet it's super enjoyable you cannot go wrong with this perfume you guys you cannot go wrong you also can customize the bottle so as you can see i did have my initials engraved on the side i am for alithia marie um, and you can customize the colors of the bottle as well. If you live in the States, you can go right to the Guerlain website and you can customize this from the Guerlain website. I believe you can customize it in the department stores as well. I got this from Holt Renfrew and they allowed me to pick the color of the top of the cap here. So of course I went with pink and it's like a suede material. And then I also went with a pink cord around the top and I went with a black seal. You can pick either a gold or a black seal and I went with black and it's just perfect this is hands down the best vanilla that i have and i have not been wearing it enough um i just i've been getting so many new perfumes lately but this is an easy to wear enjoyable beautiful fragrance and definitely one of the best in my collection and the last one on today's list is blue turquoise from armani Privé. so again super repetitive if you guys are returning if you are new here then you won't have heard me talk about this before obviously but i talk about this perfume all the time because this is definitely one of my best purchases not only of this year but of all time and probably this is my best blind purchase of the entire year so i'm not saying that it's super safe as a blind buy but if you were to blind buy it statistically speaking i think there'd be a pretty good chance you'd like it because most people who write me and tell me they bought this because of me absolutely love it so this is a salty woody vanilla fragrance the bottle is just exquisite um, this is one of the Armani Privé collection, and this is my favorite from the line. And this has notes of salt, incense, and black pepper in the opening. In the middle, you have ylang ylang, cypriol oil, and Indian jasmine. And in the base, you have vanilla, moss, and sandalwood. So let me take the cap off. And that's what the top looks like. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. And yes, it could be masculine a little bit. I was thinking to myself, if my boyfriend wore this, would I like it? Yeah, I would. Because why? Because this perfume just does it for me. <laughs> There's something about this perfume that is so sexy. I think it's more feminine personally, and most people that I've spoken to do think it's more feminine, but it does have a masculine touch because there is a little bit of that kind of green quality from the Cypriol oil. It's a little bit like piney, citrusy sort of. There is a little bit of incense and black pepper. Other than that, the notes I think are very feminine. You've got that ylang ylang, which gives it like a tropical yellow floral touch. It doesn't smell tropical in the sense of like coconut, it smells tropical in the sense of you could be, maybe not tropical, but it, you could just be walking on a beach anywhere in the world, really. Just walking along the beach, you've got that moss in there, it's salty, it almost has like a like a sea breeze kind of a quality. It smells like you're at the spa, but you're also at the ocean, but you're also wearing vanilla perfume. It's extremely sensual. It's just amazing, you guys. And the performance on this is second to none. This is the single longest lasting perfume in my entire collection, the longest lasting. 
I mean, the bang you get for your buck with this is incredible. This is about 265 Canadian dollars, which is amazing. That's really not that expensive compared to some of the other ones on this list. And the quality that you get is just insane. And it's been a while since I've put this on my skin, but if I did, I, I would have to commit to it till like tomorrow night. So, and I'm, I'm working tonight, so I can't do that. I definitely don't want this to remind me of my job. <laughs> this is a very sexy perfume. I think it's perfect for summertime. Um, I think it's very feminine. And when I wear this, you guys, I just feel like so seductive, like nothing can stop me. That is how I feel when I wear this. I feel amazing when I wear this. And if I go on a vacation to a beachy resort or a beachy vacation escape, this is the one I'm bringing because I want this to remind me of ocean sunrises. I want this to remind me of dewy skin, spending time in the heat and the warmth with the sea breeze beside the person I love. That's what I want this to remind me of. And if I put this on and close my eyes, it kind of takes me there. Anyways, amazing fragrance, you guys. And that is the last one on my list today. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed hearing about my 10 best purchases of this year. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.